Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel, Happy Love. Vertically projected body, distance time, displacement time, and velocity time graph. Let it be ground. A body is projected vertically upwards. It reaches a height and then falls onto the earth. Actually, it follows the same line for upward and downward motion. Just for clarity, I have drawn separate lines. Initially, it is thrown with a velocity 30 meter per second. I am taking this positive means the upward direction vectors are positive. So, velocity here is plus 30 meter per second at time t is equal to zero second. That means at the beginning. Then. At the top, uh, that means at the maximum height, time will be 3 seconds. Then in between, let it be t is equal to 1 second and here t equal to 2 seconds. Then let us uh, note down the distances. At the beginning, distance travel will be 0. After 1 second, distance travel will be 25 meters. and after 2 seconds, distance travel is 40 meter and after 3 seconds, distance travel is 45 meter. In the during the downward motion, so let it be time t equal to 4 seconds, here time t equal to 5 seconds. The distance traveled at time t equal to 4 seconds is 50 meter and at time t equal to 5 seconds, distance travel is 65 meter. Then finally, when it reaches the ground, time is 6 seconds and the distance traveled is 90 meter. 90 meter. Now, let us note down the velocities. Velocity at time t equal to 2 seconds is 20 meter per second. Velocity at time t equal to 2 seconds is 10 meter per second. And at the maximum height, when time t equal to 3, velocity is 0. And at t equal to 4, Velocity is again 10 meter per second downwards. At t equal to 5 seconds, velocity is 20 meter per second downwards. And finally, when it reaches the ground at a time t equal to 6 seconds, velocity is 30 meter per second downwards. Here, the acceleration due to gravity, which acts vertically downwards, is g equal to 10 meter per second square. Okay. Now, let us write down the displacements. At the beginning, displacement S is equal to 0. At time t equal to 1, displacement S is 25 meter. At time t equal to 2 seconds, displacement S equal to 40 meters. And at time t equal to 3 seconds, displacement S is 45 meter. Till now, displacement and distance are equal. Now, in during its return journey, at time t equal to 4 seconds, displacement is 40 meter only. At time t equal to 5 seconds, displacement is 25 meter only and finally when it reaches the ground, displacement s is 0. Now, distance time graph. Let us note down the time in seconds and distance in meters. Time values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 seconds. Distance values are 0, 25, 40, 45, 50, 65 and 90. Okay. Now let us draw the graph. Coordinate axis. Time in seconds is taken on x axis. Distance in meters is taken on y axis. Let us note down the origin x axis, y axis. Then values on x axis are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. And the values of distance on y axis are 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Now let us note down the points for time t equal to 0 distance is 0 so 0 comma 0 origin is the point for time t equal to 1 second distance travel is 25 so this is the point for time t equal to 2 
distance travel is 40 so this is the point for time t equal to 3 distance travel is 45 so this is the point for time t equal to 4 distance travel is 50 so this is the point and for time t equal to 5 distance travel is 65 so this is the point and for time t equal to 6 distance travel is 90 so this is the point now let us join these points so the graph is a curve the graph is a curve so it has two parts first half second half let us uh, name the points as shown in the previous diagram a is the starting point from where it is projected b is the maximum point and then finally it has reached back to a so here from origin to b that is first half of the curve a b is decelerating part a b part has deceleration its acceleration is decreasing and b a b a part in this graph is related to acceleration so based on the shape of the curve a b is upward motion and b a is for its downward motion now displacement time graph displacement time graph time is taken in seconds displacement is taken in meters time values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and displacement values are 0 25 40 45 40 25 and 0 right now let us draw the graph coordinate axis time in seconds is taken on x axis horizon x y the displacement in meters is taken on y axis the values of time on x axis are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on and the values of displacement on y axis are 20 40 60 80 100 120 and so on now let us note on the points for time t equal to 0 displacement is 0 so 0 comma 0 is the point for time t equal to 1 displacement is 25 for time t equal to 2 displacement is 40 for time t equal to 3 displacement is 45 and for time t equal to 4 displacement is again 40 and for time t equal to 5 displacement is 25 then for time t equal to 6 uh, displacement is 0 so this is the curve this is the curve it is raising and then falling a b then a from a to b then from b to a right so let us uh, explain this uh, graph a b is representing the upward motion here deceleration is there so in the displacement time graph the shape of the curve represents deceleration and b a b a part uh, represents the downward motion and it is uh, representing the acceleration acceleration of the body now velocity time graph velocity time graph time is taken in seconds velocity in meter per second time values are 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 velocity values are 30 20 10 0 10 20 30 coordinate axis observe the difference here x axis is taken at the middle y axis at the middle on the positive x axis time is taken in seconds x x dash y y dash origin is also noted on y axis velocity in meter per second is taken the time values on x axis positive x axis are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on 
and our negative x axis time values are minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on and the velocity values on positive y axis 10 20 30 and so on on negative y axis velocity values are minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 and so on now let us note down the points at time t equal to 0 velocity is 30 initial velocity 30 meter per second positive value and at time t equal to 1 second velocity is 20 and at time t equal to 2 seconds velocity is 10 and at time t equal to 3 seconds velocity is 0 now here is the interesting at velocity time t equal to 4 velocity is minus 10 10 is the value minus e is to represent the reverse direction then at time t equal to 5 seconds velocity is minus 20 and at time t equal to 6 velocity is minus 30 this minus represents downward direction reverse direction of the velocity now join these points so this is a straight line let me note the points a b then a so a b is equal to upward motion so a b in the first quadrant represents upward motion that is uh, representing the deceleration and b a b a in the fourth quadrant uh, represents uh, downward motion here it is indicating the acceleration reverse direction okay right thank you